Hi everybody, David Harper here. This is an antique sawfish bill or rostrum. Dates to around the early part of the 1900s. And you may well be quite surprised as to how much these things are worth. However, you may also be surprised that if you were to buy and sell, import, export one of these pieces of natural taxidermy, somewhere in the world where they are seriously protected, then you could go to prison. So it's a dangerous bit of kit, but nevertheless, it's natural and quite beautiful. And I would like to know your opinion. Should it be made into a piece of artwork sculpture? This is my plan. I'm going to make a stand for it and use it as a piece of artwork sculpture. So the sawfish is a protected animal today. And to sell a piece like this, you may well need a CITE certificate. So what I want you to do is if you do own one or you're going to own one, then make sure that you check out online CITES and see you know, what the state is. They are internationally protected. You can't go and hunt these things, rightly so. Uh, these fish are magnificent creatures and you can't buy and sell their body parts new either. But when it's antique, it's, it is a bit different. Again, I really want your opinion on that. So the sawfish itself should not be confused with a swordfish. Swordfish is very different. This looks like a saw. A swordfish bill or rostrum looks actually more like a javelin. It's a bit confusing because when you look at a sawfish, it has more of a shape of a sword. But there you go, it's all very confusing. But what is fascinating to me about this is the actual animal itself. So these fish grow to 20, 25 feet long. And this uh, bill, uh, rostrum, wasn't just, you know, something to make the creature, which has been around for about 50 million years, by the way, look pretty to attract a mate. It is actually a club. It's a tool for catching prey. And so the fish will swipe through the water and literally club other fish to death impale them like that on its teeth sever them in half before eating them and to keep the teeth in tip top condition this is remarkable actually because it has lost no teeth because they don't grow back when they lose a teeth a tooth they don't grow back but to keep them in tip top condition they'll bury the bill the rostrum under the sand and shake it around to sharpen the teeth and at the same time they may well just unearth a critter or two to club and scoff for their lunch. Very beautiful, graceful animals. Uh, and they live at the bottom of the ocean. So, you know, you don't see very many of them, only on documentaries. But what was another fascinating thing I discovered actually when researching this is this, that, you know, when connected to an animal, the teeth and the bill itself, it, they're, they're full of electronic receptors so in the depths and the dark as the fish is you know scouring around the bottom of the ocean bed it's bill it's rostrum here is acting like a satellite navigation it's picking up on, on on sounds on movement so in the pitch black it can navigate its way around obstructions and find prey absolutely fascinating i want to know what your opinion is on these things how do you feel about animal parts being used as pieces of art and sculpture. Well, let me give you my opinion. It's slightly contentious to some. I don't think they should be destroyed. A lot of people do think they should be destroyed. I don't. I think that's disrespectful to the animal. As long as it's not a new thing, totally against that. But if it was caught 100 years ago, which I know this was, then I think it should be not enjoyed, celebrated, venerated, appreciated. And yes, made into a piece of sculpture. And you know what? It actually stimulates conversations with people about protecting animals today. If we just pretend these things were not hunted, pretend that people from the past, pretend that they were all like us and all very virtuous, then we're really making some big mistakes. What do they say about history? They say that history is a different country. They did things differently there. This was from a different time and it shouldn't be disposed of. That's my opinion. So I'm going to make a video about me making a stand for it and then using it as a piece of art, a piece of sculpture. So it's an old one. 
Value-wise, very surprising. In America or on places like First Dibs, you should have a look at that website, very interesting. They can be $1,000 for one, up to a couple of thousand dollars. Same in the UK, several hundreds, thousand pounds mounted. I'm just gonna catch the light before I say goodbye. Let me know what you think.